What's up guys, my name is Sigma, but here for Troubleshoot, and today I'll be showing you how you can move your Hyper-V virtual machine from one computer to another. If you'd like to know how to move it from one location to another on your PC, then make sure to check the description down below for a video on that, where I moved it from a folder to another folder. So if I head into my Hyper-V folder, where I have all my virtual machines, open up my virtual machine, you can see that I have virtual hard disks, snapshots, etc, etc. So there's a few ways of doing this. The first way is heading into where your virtual machine is located and then copying all of the files inside of it. So we'll go ahead and copy the entire Windows 10 folder. That's what I've named my Hyper-V virtual machine to another computer. And then once you've done that, you can head into the Hyper-V manager on said computer, hit action, import virtual machine, next folder, browse, browse to the folder where it is and select the virtual machines named folder, mine's Windows 10, select folder, next and you'll see that the information pops up down here you can choose next choose what to import and then after hitting next again you should be able to import it and use it as a regular virtual machine this however isn't the exact recommended way but it is something that you can do the way that you should be doing it is by clicking on your virtual machine and hitting the export button down here hitting browse next to location and choosing a folder i've got a temporary one here on another hard disk by hitting export you'll wait for this to export completely. Heading into the folder on the hard disk I'm exporting it to, you can see that it's saving basically all of the other files from the actual install location. This way is a little bit slower because you're exporting it, i.e. copying it from one location to another, and then you'll be copying it again to another computer. However, I would say it is the recommended way because if it has to remove any temporary files, etc., etc., this is where it will do it. But of course, you can go ahead and copy and paste it directly. To cancel it, right click and click cancel exporting. You can then of course go ahead and delete the temporary folder that you created or whatever else. So that's about it. I hope this helps you migrate your virtual machine from one computer to another. My name is Wintech Nobu here for Troubleshoots and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.